Hi, I'm JP, Corporate Chef of High Life, and I'm here to help prep your dinner for the stand-back piston fire and ice banquet. For this evening menu, we have tonkatsu bite, leek and potato velouté, pork steak, and for dessert, il flottante. And to go with the meal, we have a nice cabernet. Now, let's open your High Life meal package. So our first, our first course tonight is a tonkatsu bite, so make sure before to cook them to preheat your oven at 400 Fahrenheit. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our tonkatsu bite on the tray like this. And then we're going to put that in the oven. After six to eight minutes, you can pull out your tonkatsu bite. So what you're going to do is you're going to dip them inside the barbecue sauce and then play them inside the board if you have a board or a, a white plate or like the plate of your choice. For the second course now, so the leek and the potato velouté, we're going to take a pot and a hotel pan. So we're going to take our soups. So make sure to not open too strongly so you don't get over you or the board. Then when both of the soup are inside the pot, put them on the fire. You can put them at medium heat. In the meantime, when your soup is on the stove, take the smoked bacon and the parsley. For the smoked bacon, to reheat and get it crispy again, just put it on the tray and then in the oven. So when your bacon and your soup are hot and ready to serve, we can plate. So you're going to start with the soup. Then the bacon. And then the parsley. Now for the main course, you will find a new box. The pork steak, the maple syrup caramelized onion, the high life spice, the cauliflower puree, the asparagus, and the potato galette. If you wish to cook your pork steak on the barbecue, preheat your barbecue at 450 to 500 Fahrenheit. Remove your pork steak from the vacuum seal and let it sit at room temperature for one hour before cooking it. The easy way to warm up your um, caramel onion and your cauliflower puree will be to put them in a microwave. The next step, we're going to put salt and pepper in the asparagus. And then put them in the oven for 10 minutes. So the next step is we're going to take the high-life spices and seasoning our steak. Be generous on the seasoning. If you are cooking your pork steak on a pan, here are the steps. Olive oil, high medium heat. When it's hot, put your pork steak on it. Three minutes on each side. Finish with butter. When your pork steak is cooked, reserve and let rest for five minutes. If you grill your meat on a barbecue, grill three minutes on each side. Don't forget to rest your meat for five minutes after cooking it. As the meat is resting, we're going to start to play. So we're going to start with the cauliflower puree. So two nice spoon. Then the asparagus. Then the potato galette. And then the pork steak. And after the pork steak, we're going to finish with a nice spoon of caramelized onion. And now for dessert, the il flottante. So for the dessert, we have the il flottante, the caramel, 
and the slice I want. For the Ilfa tart, take one spoon, the mix, let go the cream inside the plate, and when all the cream is inside the plate, let go the meringue on the top. Take the caramel and go nicely on the top. And then to finish the almond slice. And finally in a box to pair with your dinner, a nice cabernet from Argentina. And that's conclude your meal for this evening. Hope you enjoyed the fire and ice dinner. Bon appétit.